Hi, I'm Stephen Han from Archery Supplies. Today we want to look at the Elevation Nerve Field Quiver. Now Elevation produces a whole bunch of stuff like bow cases, quivers, but they're most famous for these quivers and that's what I want to look at today. Now they're not cheap, they're up in the expensive field quivers and you're going to say well um, Eastern make a more expensive field quiver and absolutely they do but these are really popular and they're expensive so I want to have a look and they've been too expensive for me to buy personally but I feel the need to have to try one of these um, so I want to talk about this quiver and then I want to show you the, the problems that I'm currently having with my current quiver and I want to talk about the different quivers that are on the market. So the first off, the Nerve Fill Quiver, it comes in either just a quiver, which is this one here, or it comes in a kit, which is the belt and the pouch. Now the first thing I'm going to say about the Release Aid pouch is the padding inside is like wool and it's really soft and it feels really nice on your fingers and that sort of thing. So these pouches come in two types from Elevation. There's a cheaper one, there's a more expensive one. And what I'm gonna say, having sold a whole bunch of these um, pouches and these quivers, is the lining in here that where you go for the wool into this uh, material here, it actually breaks away from one another and it basically separates the stitching and it's a real bugger uh, because then people are like well I bought this and it's broken and it's like yeah they all break um, now the cheaper one doesn't do that so but this is much more comfortable it feels like you're putting your hand <laughs> inside a I'm going to say inside a sheep if you're American you're probably going what's a sheep um, well inside a wool like a pillow of wool because it's all it's nice and warm in there and it's really nice now it's got a little power a little strap here which you can use it to um, close the top now you do that if it's raining or let's say you just want to you know lock everything away it's got a little tag there to keep it all secure and that's nice on the side here of that pouch you've got a little pocket um, I'm gonna guess you put things in there like your car keys another one on that side which is nice. Now the quiver, it's, uh, their belt itself is a clip-on one. One size fits all, it's like a rigid belt um, buckle. Now I haven't actually used one of these um, belts before, so we're gonna try this out. Um, I normally use leather belts, and most of my quivers are pretty old. I generally use neat, and they're leather, and they last forever. The quiver itself, it's a nice looking quiver. This thing here is meant to be nice and soft against your um, leg. Um, it's got these little things on the side meant to pad out the quiver so it's meant to be easy to walk in. So we're gonna test that. The material itself is quite shiny. It looks quite nice. Um, pouch on the side here. Um, another pocket there for your mobile phones. Another pocket there for your second mobile phone which you use obviously is if you have two girlfriends, um, one for one and one for the other. Um, a pocket on the side. Oh look, it comes with a little um, hook for hanging up um, and two um, pen holders on the side. Um, I don't know why you need two pen holders um, unless you're sharing pens maybe. Um, this is kind of unique, the purpose of this, and I'm gonna speculate what that is for. Um, it may be just for looks. Um, maybe for when you put your arrows inside. Inside it's got two little brackets here um, to hold your arrows and we're going to look at that. Um, some clips on the side, now you use these obviously to hold your arrow um, pullers, um, arrow tube, arrow lube things, um, towels would hang from these hooks here. It's a nice quiver. Now it sells in Australia for about $160 like this. The quiver itself sells for about $120. Now that puts it at the top of the range of these type of quivers. Um, it puts it up there with the top of the range um, Eastern. And I'm going to say these, to me, probably look better than the Eastern, more features than the Eastern. But the Eastern's not a bad quiver, so look at that as well. But I'm going to say this outsells the Eastern almost 10 to 1. And that's by consumers coming in, seeing the, both quivers and choosing this. Now, as far as the um, Elevation Nerve Quiver, the quiver's available for about 120. Um, the whole kit's 160, I think, from memory. The belt, I'm going to guess, is about 25, and I'm going to guess this is about 40. So it's not much of a saving, but I'm going to say most people buy it as a complete kit. Um, now, I'm going to go to my existing quiver and show you the problem I'm currently having. 
So this is the quiver I currently use. I've been using it forever. So this is where the arrows point backwards. Now you'll see how many arrows I've got in my quiver here, maybe 18. Now the problem I have is when I put it on, so that's sitting on my hip and the arrows fall out like that. So it's like I need this bit here to be rigid from here to here. Now, so that's what I want to check with the elevation. So let's just check that with this many arrows in the quiver. And you're going to say, well, why do you need this many arrows in your quiver? Because if you shoot target, you only need six, maybe two spares. And that's what this little tag is for here. Now, this quiver is a neat um, vinyl quiver. This is at the time when I brought it. I don't think, I think I was out of the leather ones. Um, I've had this quiver for about, I'm going to say 10 years, maybe longer. Uh, it's been a good quiver. Um, I obviously prefer leather than vinyl and I like neat as a company. Um, it probably sells for around $50, $60. The leather version sells for a bit more, but it's been very functional. But when I practice, I shoot about 18 arrows and end. Um, so just to speed it all up, um, but then my arrows are falling out. So let's just check out the elevation quiver. So we're going to put these arrows in this pocket here and then and they're not falling out so what i'm going to do let's just fit this quiver on now i'm a i'm under a 30 inch waist at the moment um, this was too tight so i'm going to lengthen it so if you've got a bigger waist, um, this should be able to adjust out to whatever you want. So let's just try that. Now normally when I fit a quiver, I have it sit low um, down. So, but this feels pretty good. Um, I'm going to say I want it down lower. I don't know whether to adjust this side or the other side, but we're going to adjust this side because this is a longer one. Now that feels good to me. It's like I tend to have my quivers lower down, so my belt line's higher. But this feels pretty comfortable now it, it fits nice the arrows i can jump or jump around the arrows are staying in there now i was shooting a tournament the other day with the other quiver and i was shooting okay and one of my arrows fell out when i was walking back from the shooting line so when i went to shoot i didn't realize i had five arrows in my quiver um well i realized when i got back to the shooting line but the arrow was down at the range um, so basically I lost one arrow, so that was 10 points gone. And now if you're shooting at a high level, you can't afford to drop 10 points. So these, this feels to me to be really solid. It's holding 18 arrows in two tubes. Um, so what I'm going to do, let's have a shot and let's see what it feels like. But it feels nice. I like the pouch. I'm shooting currently the Eastern leather pouch. So this is the Eastern leather pouch. Um, you can see inside there's really no padding. It's just a hole. This one feels much better for the release aids. It feels, feels bigger um, to hold your release aid. It just feels nicer. Um, the wool inside feels nice. The release aid feels more secure. Now, where am I gonna put this? I'm gonna put that on the pocket. This quiver feels nice to me, so I'm just going to have a shot. This quiver to me feels secure. It doesn't feel like it's going to move on me. Um, when I'm walking, the arrows aren't rattling. Um, I think the padding along the top where the belt sits is actually pushing the quiver away from my body, which means the quiver is not rattling against my leg. Um, 
to get this bow stand out of the quiver is easy. I like all the poles in it. Um, I'm really liking the quiver. Um, like, now the reason why you shoot these back facing quivers, there's a couple of reasons why you shoot them. One, if you're doing field shooting, the arrows are out the way, it's more compact, the arrows don't rattle around. If you're shooting a recurve bow, where the, where the arrows point forward in your quiver, like so, with a big recurve bow, the arrows can get in the way, and what you'll see is people twist the quiver out the way. Um, I really like this quiver. Um, So this is the quiver I also shoot. This is a neat 2300. It's leather. I've had this quiver for about 15 years. Um, I like this quiver. Um, what I like about it, the arrows point forward. Um, so you can actually see the arrows. You can count how many you've shot. You know what's in your quiver. The problem when you're shooting this quiver where they point forward is if you're shooting with someone in front of you, they can come and bang this quiver with their bow, which happened to me in Vegas person next to me while I'm at full draw hits his bow against my quiver while I'm at full draw and it happened five times um, it's like never happened before it didn't happen in the practice range just happened to Vegas uh, <laughs> it's like that's the way it goes um, now with the back facing quiver the arrows are much more compact they're much closer to your body so therefore you've got more space now when you're shooting competition, you've got to work within the within a meter, I think it's 75 centimeters they give you. Range, that's your square box. Um, now can other people still hit you with their bows? Yes, they can. They can swing their bow and whack you with it, but that's still your range. Now, so if you've got a quiver pointing forward, it's normally not a problem, but it can be a problem. So I like the more compact version. The thing I don't like about the more compact version, if you've got arrows with you know, broken knocks, broken veins, you struggle to see where they are in this sort of situation here. So if you've got a broken arrow, you're basically going to rip it out of the quiver and get rid of it. Now, if you're shooting field archery, so you're walking around a field course, you can't just rip the arrow out of your field quiver and toss it to the side because you've got to carry it for the whole field course. So whether you use a forward facing quiver or a back facing quiver, that's up to you. I'm really liking the um, Elevation Nerf quiver. Um, it comes in a whole bunch of colors. Um, it comes in brands like Matthews, PSE. I don't know if they do a Hoyt version. So instead of saying Elevation here, I'll say PSE. Um, but it comes in a whole bunch of great colors. This is black, it comes in red, teals, pretty much any color you can think of yellows greens purples comes in every color you can think of it's it to me it's a quality product now i've been selling this quiver for a number of years i'm going to say five this thing breaking inside here is so common and well i haven't been able to get it under warranty so i don't know if elevation is doing under warranty i'm not getting under warranty i just say to people that's just it's the way it is um so just bear in mind, if you are buying this quiver, this thing is here, almost guaranteed the, the, the stitching will break away from the lining. I don't know if it's been fixed, but it's always been a problem. Quiver itself is rock solid. The belt's rock solid. I just like the way it sits on my body. Um, and for 160, I've been reluctant, um, obviously up till now, but when those arrows were falling out, I'm just sitting here practicing such a pain. And if you want to have heaps of arrows in your quiver, the, this quiver is really good. I'm Stephen Hamm from Archery Supplies and the more you shoot, the better you shoot. And make sure you enjoy it while you're doing it. Thanks for watching. Bye.